Once you've uploaded a few videos to YouTube, it's a good idea to start making use of YouTube playlists. Playlists allow you to group similar videos in the same place so that users can easily find the content that they're looking for. Playlists also appear in Google search results, so you're just increasing the chances that people will find your content when searching Google. Let's take a look at how we can create some playlists. From within the YouTube Studio, we're going to mouse over the Other Features link on the left side of our screen. From here, we're going to click on Playlists. Notice that when the new tab opens up, we don't yet have any playlists in our YouTube account. But we do currently have three videos uploaded. Two of the videos feature cake decorating, and one of them features cookie decorating. So we're going to create a cake playlist, and we're going to create a cookie playlist. So at the top of my screen, I'm just going to click on the New Playlist button. We'll just call this one Cake Designs. Notice that we have the option to specify the visibility of this playlist. So you could create a public playlist, an unlisted playlist, or a private playlist. But if you're using YouTube for marketing or monetization, you want your content to be discoverable. So we're going to keep this playlist as public. And then we're going to click on Create. So now you can see we've created this playlist, but we don't have any videos in here yet. So let's go ahead and head back over to YouTube Studio and find some videos to add to this playlist. I'm just going to go up here to the top right, click on the drop down, and click on the link to go back to YouTube Studio. From here, we'll go to our videos section. And then I will hit the checkbox next to all of the videos that I'd like to add to the playlist that we just created. So I don't want to add my cookies video, but I do want to add the two cake videos. So I've clicked both of the checkboxes, and then I'll just go up here to the Add to Playlist drop down. And you'll see that the playlist that we created is now available. So we can just click in the checkbox and then click on Save. So now if we go back to the playlist section by mousing over other features and then playlists, you'll notice that we now have two videos in our Cake Designs playlist. So let's go ahead and create another playlist and we'll call this one Cookie Designs. So up here to New Playlist. Call it Cookie Designs. Click Create. Now we'll go back over here. We'll just use this other tab that we already have open. We will choose our cookie video and we will add it to the Cookie Designs playlist and click Save. And we'll go back over here to our Playlists section. Refresh this page. And you'll notice that we now have two playlists, and they each have at least one video inside of those playlists. So there's a little more that we can do with these playlists on YouTube, however. I mentioned that you can discover them in Google search results. So we can also add descriptions to these playlists, which will make it more likely that users will discover them when searching Google. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the Edit button next to the playlist that we'd like to edit. So we'll go ahead and we'll edit the Cake Designs playlist. So now you can see it says it currently doesn't have a description, so we'll click on the pencil icon to edit the description. And I actually have the description for this playlist saved on my computer, so I'm just going to open that file up, and I'm going to copy and paste the description. Okay, so we've got our description, videos featuring different cake, oh, we have a typo in our description, that's why it's important to double check, different cake baking and decoration techniques from Topsy Turvy Cake Design. All right, looks good now. We'll click on Save. It's a good idea when you're creating a description for your playlists to use as many keywords related to your playlist as possible because, again, that's what's going to show up in Google search results when people are searching. The other thing that we can do is we can also change the order that the videos appear in our playlist. So you'll notice up here at the top it says Sort By. And if we click on that, we have some different options. So by default, it's going to sort them by the order that we add them. So the first one that we add is going to be the first video in the playlist. 
you can see right there, and then we've got the second video. But we could choose one of these other sorting options if we'd like. So you can see uh, you have a number of different sorting options here. You can sort them by date added, either newest or oldest. You can also sort them by most popular if you'd like, or by date published. Uh, so you can choose which options work best for your particular situation. And then one last thing that I want to mention is if you go over here uh, to where we have the playlist listed and we click on these three little dots, you'll notice that we have some more options. This is where you could share this playlist with other people. You could also delete the playlist or you could click to go into the playlist settings. And there's just a couple other options in here, but you'll notice that we have the option whether or not we want to allow this playlist to be embedded on other websites. And if you're using YouTube for marketing or monetization, you definitely want to allow embedding because that will just increase the number of potential viewers for the videos on that playlist. And then there are also a few more advanced settings. If we click on the link, you'll notice that we have this uh, auto ad setting, which I think is kind of interesting. So we can create some rules here in YouTube, such as we could make a rule where any video that we upload that has the name cake in it will automatically get added to the cake designs playlist. So that's a good idea if you're going to be adding a ton of videos and you're going to have a lot of playlists and you don't want to have to go through and manually add each video every time you upload it. You just make sure that you're including certain keywords in the name, which will automatically add it to a playlist. But you do have to create the rules inside of each playlist. I'm just going to click cancel on that one for now. So I really think that YouTube playlists are an important part of YouTube. Later on in the course, we're going to take a look at how we can manage how these playlists are displayed on our channel page. So we can actually determine which playlists are displayed at the top. So the first thing that users see when they access our channel page, and then we can also specify other playlists that we can put towards the bottom of our channel page. So it's definitely a great feature of YouTube, and I really recommend that you start making use of them as you're uploading more and more videos to your YouTube account.